Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ coming from the Graves Oakley Memorial Park in Halifax. Coming up in this week's show we've got highlights of our game with Canada. We speak to Scott White after he returned to the club on loan last week and we look back on what the players have been up to during pre-season. On Saturday, the Warriors played their final pre-season fixture here in Halifax in Nova Scotia against the Canadian national team. And here is the best of the action. Sixteen Glasgow Warriors players have been named in the Scotland squad this week for this month's Rugby World Cup, which has been held in England. Brian Grant, Gordon Reid, Fraser Brown, Johnny Gray, Tim Swinson, Josh Strauss, Ryan Wilson, Henry Purgos, Finn Russell, Duncan Weir, Mark Bennett, Peter Horn, Richie Vernon, Sean Lamont, Tommy Seymour and Stuart Hogg have all been selected. In total, the Warriors will have 20 players at the Rugby World Cup for the news that Simone Favreau has been added to the Italy squad. Leone Nakarawa is with Fiji, Greg Peterson will be representing USA and Sila Puafisi is in the Tonga squad. Last week, former Warrior and current Scotland 7 standoff Scott White joined the club on loan for the start of the season and following his return from Canada this week, he spoke exclusively to Warriors HQ. Scotty, welcome back to Glasgow Warriors. How does it feel to be back? Yeah, a wee bit surreal really, you know, it kind of happened all of a sudden, it happened really quickly, but really pleased to be back, see some familiar faces in with camp and banter's been good. And how was Canada last week? Because I was obviously, you came straight in, flew out to Canada and then played against Canada there on Saturday. Yeah, it was uh, hard going for the week, it was very much like being back to school, notepad and pen out, trying to catch up with all the moves as quick as possible. You know, so when I got the opportunity on Saturday, I wasn't letting any of the teammates down, I know the standards are very high in with the group and you know I wasn't wanting to be the one to let the group down. How has the club changed since you've been away? Obviously you've still been around and popped in every so often but has, has it changed a lot? Yeah there's far more uh, designs and stuff, nice to see the Pro 12 champions, winners, pictures up a bit more, you know feels more like a club, more like home, there's more branding up and around the stadium which is really nice to see, you get that buzz as soon as you come through the front doors, you know you see how much the supporters have really bought into it now as well with the amount of season tickets that's been sold, you know, and hopefully managed to sell out the rest of the seats in the stadium and, you know, come Saturday the place will be buzzing, I've no got any doubt about that, you know, and it'll be, you know, a great game, great feeling to be back out there hopefully. 
Do you know quite a lot of the guys, or is it has there been a case of getting to know quite a few of them since you returned? There's a few. There's a few new faces. Um, I think the week in Canada has helped me break in. And how are you enjoying playing for Scotland Sevens? Obviously, a little break from that coming here, but when you get back into that, is that something you're looking forward to? Yeah, of course. You know, it's a great, it's a great way to show off your skills. You know, there's only seven players on the pitch. You get a lot more freedom. You get a lot more touches on the ball, and it is slightly different coming back into the 15s. You have got to adjust the way you play. You got to play a wee bit flatter, a wee bit deeper. You know, so it's two complete different games. Um, but obviously, I've had a great time in with the sevens last year and very much looking forward to this year again but it doesn't kick off until the 5th and 6th of December is our first tournament this year so really looking forward to that when that starts up as well. And since you've been away you've been keeping an eye on the, the Warriors and their progress? Oh of course you know I've got a lot of friends here I spent three years here so you know I'm always touching base there's a fair bit of fantasy football gets played behind the scenes to be honest then so you know I keep a I keep in contact with the majority of the boys throughout, you know, throughout the season and it was great to obviously see the success that you had with the club last year. Don't forget, Glasgow Warriors begin the defence of the Guinness Pro 12 title at home to the Scarlets this Saturday, the 5th of September, kickoff 5.15. And the last remaining tickets are available now from glasgowarriors.org. Come down to Scotland and see Al Kellogg and Dougie Hall unfurl the championship flag ahead of kickoff. Get your tickets now from glasgowarriors.org or call the ticket office on 0844 800 3490. The Guinness Pro 12 returns on Saturday evening when the Warriors host the Scarlets here at Scotston. But it's been an action-packed 12 weeks of pre-season training for the players and here is what they've got up to. And I know she'll be the death of me, at least we'll both be numb. And she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay forever young. This I know, this I know. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry. Don't forget, Warriors HQ returns next Wednesday at 5pm on Glasgow Warriors TV at youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors.